All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are going to be exposed to yet another way to represent a two-digit number. This time, they're gonna be uh, taught that a two-digit number, oh, let's say uh, 34, uh, can be expressed as 30 plus, plus four. And so that's uh, an, yet another way of representing a two-digit number. So let's get started on this. So just a recap of some of the representations that we have so far. Let's say we've got this right here, and we can see that that is two, two tens and eight ones. So one, another way to represent this figure right here is to say two tens and eight ones. Another way we could represent it is using a number bond. Now here we have a horizontal number bond instead of a vertical number bond, but that's okay. So another way we could represent this number is we could say, well, there's 20 and 8 like this, and that adds up to 28. So we've got 28 up here. We've got the say 10 method, say 10 method. So that's two tens and eight ones. We have the number bond method, a 20 and an 8. Another method that we just learn or are going to be learning about here is that 28 can be expressed as 20 plus 8. So we just have tons of ways to represent the same number. And parents and teachers, uh, we want to ex uh, allow our students to explore all four of these um, ways to represent these numbers. Because quite frankly, uh, when we're talking about this representation, that's only going to really be speaking to some of our students. So we need to do this method, which is going to speak really to a different group of students. And that's why we want to ex uh, ex allow our students to explore a variety of different ways to represent the same number. So here it says fill the number bond and write the tens and the ones. So we're going to look at this picture and I see that we've got a 10 here and a 10 here. So that's our 20. And then I see that we have three ones down here. So there's our, our three. So what do we have all together? We have 23 all together. Another way to think of this is three ones plus 20. So three plus 20 is 23. Another way we could think of this is 20 more than three. So 20 more than three. So here's your three plus 20 more, and, and that's 23 as well. So we just have a variety of ways to represent. And don't forget, we also can show that this is tens and ones. We can also think of this as two tens and three ones. So we have a variety of ways to represent this number. Now, I chose these simply because they're just kind of, uh, we're removing some of our scaffolding. So here, first off, we're dealing with cubes rather than real objects. And we can see that we have three tens. And it looks like we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five ones. So we have three tens, five ones. So what are we missing down here? Well, what's right here? We know the total. The total is 35, so I'm going to put the total right there. So what goes there? And the answer is 5 is our missing number. It doesn't ask, but what would our number bond look like? If we had 35 right here, what would our number bond look like? It would look like 30 and 5. So we're just constantly practicing all these different ways to represent the same number. And I will do this simply because they removed all the scaffolding down here, didn't they? So we have three tens. So I'm going to fill that in. Now how many ones? Well, we've got them all scattered all over the place, don't we? Now don't, get, don't let these confuse you. I don't think those count. So we're only going to count these on the outside. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 3 tens and 8 ones. So down here we're going to do 30 plus 8 is 38. Don't forget, you could have also written 8 plus 30, right? 
And then the other way we could have, another way we could have represented it is 30 more than 8 is 38, using that more than technique. And the last slide is just more of the same, only now we are going to connect the pictorial representation, pictorial representation on the left, with the kind of like the number sentence on the right. So up here I've got a 10 and a 2. So I'm going to look for a 10 and a 2 and look at that right there. So I can connect this down to there. And then let's see, right here I've got three 10s and a 1. So where does that go? Oh, it's right here, three 10s and a 1. So that's going to go from here to here. And then down here I've got two tens and four ones. So two tens and four ones goes right there. So I'm going to go right here. And by a process of elimination, uh, we know that this goes up here. But let's see if we can figure out why. We've got three tens right here, so that's 30. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have three tens and eight. And there it is, three tens and eight. So that would go, woo, right there. And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson four, using yet another way to represent a two-digit number, using addition sentences.